no! And, and I'm like, I got a perfect on the entrance exam. He's like, that's not possible. <laughs> but what's going to be possible here is Diddy versus Duck Hunt. Who's going to take it home? Oh my god. Peko, absolutely no chill. Going in so aggressively. Absolutely. 58% already? <gasps> and the banana hitting the can as well. Peko is not wanting to waste any time letting Fawn set up on, uh, on FD with all of the Duck Hunt projectiles. All right. Echo in a rare advantage against Fawn. I mean, that, take full advantage. That being said, though, we did see Fawn uh, take it over another uh, Diddy Kong earlier today. I believe that it was, was it Haze. Was Haze. Yep. Yeah. There's Haze, there's Infernape, and there's uh, Peko. Got Peko, a lot of, a lot the of last Diddy Kongs Diddy. coming out tonight. Planet of the Apes. 20, 25 players tonight, and three of them are Diddy Kongs. Oh, there we go. Devin, that's a theme right there. Planet of the Apes. <laughs> but you can right. only play Diddy. It was oh, us. Oh! <laughs> the whole time. He blew it up! <laughs> Honestly, that'd be a cool little trailer. Has it like a Sakurai statue? Statue of Sakura. <laughs> Stuck in the sand. Yes! It's literally Palutena as a Statue of Liberty. Oh, oh, true! And it's Steve, like, with the knees down. <laughs> you monsters! Being said, though, Peko being the one to blow up Fawn's first stock only. Oh, but the, ban no. the Bandito take tanking the hit and taking out Peko's first stock. He was like, draw. You, you can't mess with the Bandito. That's, oh, no. that's the most powerful one. He's got a fire effect on his gun for a reason. He does? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even notice that. The little details, I'm telling you. All right. Fawn starting to mount a bit of a comeback, getting that throw conversion on the can. Now having Peko off stage. Percentage. Tried to catch the barrel recovery with the down air, but unfortunately not finding it. But Peko is very... <gasps> oh, the no. The footstool! But just walking right into the banana, unfortunately. Peko wisely disengaging there, realizing that the can was coming. Did he slip on the banana to low profile the, the clay pigeon? I would like to believe. I mean, I I don't think he intentionally slipped on the banana peel, but I think he intentionally wow. delayed getting up from it. The barrel explosion. Absolutely. Oh, but the cool leader, that's the fastest gunman. He's so cool. He's so cool. Speaking of cool. Peko living to 167, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, he's keeping a cool head right now. Living to 179, Fawn still having trouble catching this la or this second stock. Finally though, I believe that was a neutral air taking things and back to pretty much an even game. Wow, unfortunately Fawn bringing it back. Peko being like, ah, maybe I could have done a little better there when I had that full stock advantage. All right, forward throw setting up at the ledge once again, forcing Fawn to recover high and uh, utilize that can resource to try and find herself some space. All right, Peko trying to go for that offstage down there. It's his bread and butter. It's what he's best at. Oh, uh, getting caught. Get offstage. Getting caught by the timing of the slowest gunman there, the tall gunman. It's like a slow uh -oh. ball. You never expect it. Yeah, that, I mean, that's just kind of a weird matchup knowledge that you have to worry about when fighting Duck Hunt is that the gunmen all have uh, all have variable timings. All right. I like going for the uh, the barrel blast once again from Paco. The blast radius is enormous. Absolutely. Trying to use the banana once again to get himself some space, but instead just putting it right back into Fawn's hands. Not going to be enough. This edge guard could be it if Fawn... But Fawn oh. is able to use the can to scare Peko away from any meaningful interaction there. All right, it looks like both are trying to grab, trying to hit. Nothing's happening. Oh, and the there's the bandito it. and the taunt as <laughs> well. Two the taunts. laugh. That's unfair. He can't that's answer an, back at the point. That's just uncalled for. You know what? It's in character. <laughs> you played Duck Hunt. I, I did. I'm when I was like six. <laughs> Oh, yeah, but you remember that laugh. I do. Look at that. Dog with human teeth. He's laughing at you. Oh my you. god, actually, it is human teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I never know. That's even creepier. <laughs> you don't want that laughing at you.
<laughs> but Fawn is laughing her way into game two. Uh, Back to FD? I don't know about this pick. Well, TNC and Kalos were Fawn's uh, bans, and mm. honestly, I feel like the rep. Well, I don't know. Uh, small Smash Battlefield. Uh, small Battlefield is a fantastic Fawn stage. <laughs> okay, fair. <laughs> maybe, I mean, maybe it's Smashville or Hollow Bastion, but I think Peko is wanting to keep pla platforms out of the equation for finding his way in against Fawn. But that being said, oh, I mean, no. Fawn is really starting to find her footing here on There's FD. There's not enough. No, oh. no. Fawn going for a little bit of disrespect down there. I feel like maybe she was looking for like a footstool or something. Honestly, the little twirl upwards with that, uh, you know, fly in. That was yeah. enough. Pain enough. Yeah, enough to send a message. Yeah. Oh, and message sent. Peko having to play a lot more patiently here. Oh my gosh. Ooh. The movement. Okay. Oh, but the can to break the situation once again, and Fawn just running to the other side of the stage. No, like, platform uh, coverage needed. I like the... I like... <gasps> oh, no. I think shield that poked. shield poked. Yep. And the taunt. All right, taunt to get bodied. Is this still a true combo? Let's find out. I don't know. Fawn's looking real good here in this last stock of uh, game two. Looking to make the quick run back against John Numbers, who is sitting in grand finals right now. He's just waving on the side. He's like, can I, can I play it? <laughs> I don't know. Fawn's trying to make sure that wait is not too long. 81% right now, and Peko still has three stocks to work through. All right, Peko cannot lose his cool here. Just oh. needs one good edge guard. There it is. That backer will take it. That's a start, but oh, the uh, not able to find <gasps> the clay Whoa. pigeon oh, conversion. Uh, that would have been great. See, that is exactly what Pago needs to do. Be so aggressive off stage that Fawn doesn't expect it. <laughs> Ooh, the banana into the can, but another clay pigeon conversion is going to be doing it, and Fawn with a dominant 2 0 in Losers Final is going to be moving us on into Grands. All right, Fawn going to go grab John there as we check out these replays and try and figure out where everything went right for Fawn. I mean, the, the evidence is all right here. But it's up to yeah, you, dear see. viewers, to put it all together. <laughs> the mystery of <laughs> Peko's game two. Well, honestly, like, here's the thing. Peko started aggressively the very first game. And the second game, Fawn answered right back being like, I could do that, Look at this. but better. Ugh. It was that the was shield poke. That was nasty. Because I think that last hit goes a little bit down, so you have to angle it just right. Mm -hmm. Like, middle, middle, down. It's a mix-up. Ugh. See, it's not about going high or going low. It's about the highs and lows True. of battle. <laughs> so John versus Vaughn. Obviously, not a not a run back from Zeno yesterday, but definitely a run back from Zeno last.